come out, come out. Oh, there we go. A nice time lapse of her building the entire exec. Ooh, so cool. Oh, 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 oh. I'm in a great hurry and I don't have time to explain anything but all that I can say to you is that inside of this box I have a green link spider that was sent to me from a subscriber, sent to me by a subscriber and it should be a mature male but it was, he was in transit for like almost a week now and oh it's already open and I just need to quickly check if he's all right and I need to put him into a temporal enclosure if he is all right. So only that and then I need to hurry up and I'm looking after Erica and she's currently asleep but she can wake up any second now. So the, oh, camera, camera, so you can see. Oh no, it didn't broke, great. Let's see if this guy is all right. Oh, it looks like he is. You see he's down there? I need something to poke and I need a temporal spot. This is the enclosure where I had Davos Pentalotis male and since he died a while ago it will be perfect for this little guy. Now let's just check. Yeah, he's moving. Great. Little guy is alright. Come out, come out. Oh, there we go. He's actually, I mean his leg span is kind of bigger than my females. Hmm. Okay, you can go in. Ooh, great, great, great. I'm so happy that he is all right. But as I said, no time to waste. Let's do a time jump and now we can relax and explain the whole situation. So this green lynx mature male spider was sent to me by Martin. And you know, the reason for that is I have a female right here that I acquired a few, a few months ago. And she is mature and Martin didn't really want that his mature male goes to waste. So he contacted me asking me if I want it and naturally of course that I want it because that will give us the opportunity to breed them but in the meantime there was a bit of development and if you are following me on the Instagram you probably know that my female already made an exec and she actually made an exec as this mature male was uh, traveling towards the dark den, I mean to the dark den. Unfortunately I spotted that she was making an exec when she was almost already done with it so I don't really have a nice time lapse of her building the entire exec but still I managed to record a couple of sweet shots and a quick time lapse of her increasing the size of the actual exec adding more layers of silk but the thing is I didn't previously pair her so I really wasn't sure if she was already bred before she was shipped to me or if that was just, um, you know, tarantulas can sometimes do that, they build an exec even though they never were bred, resulting in an exec that eventually dries out. And unfortunately, it seems that that was exactly the case here. Because you see, there's the female and you see that she's not holding the exec. The exec is right here, looking totally dry and kind of moldy, I don't know. That happened kind of recently because I was almost daily checking her out and all of the time she was holding the exec. And yesterday when I went to check her again, I spotted that she is no longer keeping it and the exec looks like that. This now actually makes my situation a bit easier because now I don't need to wait for the exec to hatch, risking that the male, the mature male will die in the meantime. Uh, now what we can do, we will now feed the male because I'm pretty sure that he is hungry. And we will also try to feed female a few times to make sure that she is not hungry. And then after a couple of time jumps, we will attempt to breed them and see how that will go. So yeah, now let's feed the male first. I already prepared roaches, so let's take this one, even though this one was squished a bit too much, but hopefully that won't be a problem. This will be the first time that I'm attempting to feed, ooh, to feed the male, but you see, yeah, he is hungry for sure. You can now let go my tweezers and there we go, great. I'm happy that he went for the takedown because that means that he's healthy and strong and that will increase the chance that the breeding will be successful. Okay, did he beat the roach or 
from this angle I don't really see if he's binding it or just holding it but I assume that he is biting it by the way that black thing you see on the tip of his pedipalp that is the bulb and that that is how you can tell that this is a mature male now we can try to do the same thing with the female but I spotted that I mean I learned that uh, female is a bit tricky to feed because sometimes she goes for the tweezers for some reason which then results into a failed feeding so I need to be careful and this is the thing that she's doing she's not like jumping straight for you see that's the problem and this is the roach gun yeah the roach already escaped unfortunately I need to get another one I have another one but that one is smaller and I need a bigger one it seems like females precision is a bit off so that is why she always misses the roach and goes for the wrong thing let's now try it again okay there we go it's actually such a cool shot look at this so cool <laughs> now I will let her eat that roach then we will feed her once again to make sure that she is all nice and fat and then we will attempt the feeding so time jump Instead of a time jump, we had a nice feeding time lapse. So that was a nice, nice unplanned surprise. And now let's feed the female for the second time. Again, I will offer her one lateralis roach. And actually two days passed since the last one. So we will see if she will be down for grabbing this one. Hmm, she's not super hyped. Hey girl, I need you to eat. I need you to eat more just to be sure okay if she doesn't want to take the roach I guess it's all right we can just proceed with the feeding hmm. but I would be happier if she would grab that roach nope that won't happen and I'm losing the roach yeah the roach managed to hide within this lush plant Ah, so we can proceed with the breeding with the sexy time, but I can't do that this very moment So I will still need to do one time jump and now I'm ready to proceed with the breeding in the meantime I have read a bit about their breeding and the good news is despite them being a seasonal spider Which means that they will die at the end of the season females can still build one to two eggs eggs which means that it is good news for us she is capable of building more than just one egg sack and yeah that is a great thing i just hope that it is not too late for for us to breed them i haven't found any information on how to successfully breed them or any tips on that so i guess we can just introduce the male into the female's enclosure and start from there yeah just observe what will happen i'm gonna poke him so he reaches her web and then he should figure the stuff out although unlike the rangers which have really bad eyesight i believe they can see normally so they they should visually see each other and that should make things a bit more easier so let me set up the stage this will go here and male's enclosure will go right here and then i should be just able to do something like something like that Ooh, wait 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 don't be so fast give her some time and was that a twitch i think that he yeah he's already twitching just like tarantulas <laughs> i don't really know what to expect to be honest as i said i didn't read any breeding reports on how the things will go most likely now we just need to be patient 
yeah and I should really take a tripod just in case this takes a while there we go now I can relax and do some other stuff yeah good thing I bust out the tripod because it seems like this will take a while oh 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 The male straight up jumped down as soon as female started to move a bit. <laughs> so little buddy, what is our plan now? That female is so scary, huh? <laughs> that was so funny, I hope that the jump could be seen on the camera. I guess I will try to continue to poke him in. Okay. Well, this can also work. I can do something like this. Come on, go, buddy. Can you go and hang from her web? Yeah. Okay, you see, he's back. Back on track. Now, once again, we can wait for their next move. But this time the male is a bit further from the female. So I guess he got time to just slowly move away if he feels uncomfortable and not just jump out of the enclosure mm -hmm. we have a little bit of movement from the female let's see if that will continue yeah she is moving towards the no she's not it seems like she's just randomly moving around. Or she now turned towards the male and the male is just standing there frozen in time. Dude, what the hell? I think that he is afraid of the female. And I'm already sitting here for 30 minutes waiting for something to happen. So I think that I will just close the enclosure and keep the camera rolling and on occasion come down here to see if something happened yeah that is the most efficient way i guess because of this plastic part of the door i actually couldn't record the female out there but i closed it off with the top lid of the enclosure you see so yeah hopefully something will happen Whoa, 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 the male is actually approaching, so maybe, maybe this will actually go down, because I'm recording this for like three hours now, maybe even more, so, ah, he's so slow. The wait continues. Where did the male go? <laughs> she didn't eat him, right? Let me check the footage. Oh, come on, dude. Once again, female slowly approached him, like super slowly, and he just jumped down. Oh, I see him. He is down there, you see. Ah, uh, this will be much harder to, to do than I initially thought. Perhaps I will need to do a, a time lapse of this because it won't be as easy, yeah. So I don't know. I will set the camera once again and hope for the best. To be honest, I have no idea if anything went down. There was, it seemed like there was a lot of action because 
often male was approaching or female was approaching but then I will get in the time lapse I will just get a quick blur so I'm not sure if in that blur since it is a time lapse there is a chance that breathing occurs because you know some tarantulas take it really slow and take their time uh, pairing with the female while other species they just go like boom boom and that's it so if that is the case with this spider then breathing did occur but if that is not the case, if they take their time, then the breathing definitely didn't occur. I am not sure, but what I will do, I will leave them cohabit together in this enclosure because you see, they are cohabiting already for three and a half days and it definitely seems that male is more than capable of evading the female. So they should be fine living together like this and hopefully during that time the breathing will occur if it didn't already. The only evidence that we will get of that, the only confirmation of the breathing will be the egg sac if she ever makes it and if that egg sac will be successful. And until then, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, sometimes on Friday. So, see you again pretty soon. Bye! <laughs>